What is up everybody, Mike here. I wanted to make an instructional video today and this is one that uh, a lot of people have asked about uh, and that is how to drive a manual transmission car. Um, so, But right before I get into the nitty gritty and the how to portion of this video, I just wanted to cover a couple things first. So bear with me. I know that's what everyone wants to see. Uh, but I just wanted to say, you know, what are some of the reasons why driving a manual car is still cool? Well, it's still definitely the most engaging way to drive. You know, you've heard people say things like uh, you feel connected to the car and you feel like you and the car are working together to drive. And that's very true. You feel very connected to the car when you're doing it. And uh, when you do it right and you get good at it, it's very satisfying. It's it's, it's it is more engaging than even the most aggressive dual clutch where you're just flipping a switch. You know, it, it is a little bit more engaging than that. So another reason is the market for a manual car will always probably exist. I'll give you a lot of examples. Things like the WRX, BRZ, um, you know, Miatas, everything like that are probably always going to be offered with a manual transmission. And even in 2015, I want to mention, um, how you doing, man? I ran into that guy yesterday when I was doing a little filming out here for a review that isn't out yet. So I'm not going to spoil it, but I was here doing a review just yesterday. But anyway, uh, back to the point, you know, even in this year, there are still a lot of cars that are only available in a manual. I'll give you a bunch of examples and you probably didn't, probably didn't think that it was this common, but it's true. Things like the Focus RS, uh, the Mustang GT350, Dodge Viper, Cayman GT4, you know, all those cars, believe it or not, are only available in a manual, even still today. So uh, definitely still a great skill to learn. And I'll give you uh, an example of why driving one manual car really opens up your possibilities to drive uh, every kind of different manual car. Because I was at the Dodge dealership to do my review, and I saw that beautiful green Challenger out in the distance, and I was like, oh, I want to I wanna review that car. And we walked up to it, and it happened to be a six-speed manual. So just a real quick little story. If I hadn't known how to drive manual, I would have missed out on all that fun and an awesome car. So uh, definitely it's a cool skill to learn. And again, once you can drive one, you can pretty much drive them all. And then real quick, I know I'm rambling, but I just want to say a lot of people ask on the channel, I'm ready to buy my first car. I really want a manual, but I don't know how to drive a manual. And my answer to them is just go for it. You know, maybe, <laughs> maybe have someone drive it home from the dealership for you, uh, just so you're not out in the road, nervous and stalling and everything uh, to be safe. But that is the best experience there is. You know, it's a lot like jumping in a pool if you don't know how to swim. Okay. Worst case scenario, you drown or you wreck the car. But probably you're going you're gonna to be okay. I mean, most likely, let's be honest. And that is the greatest experience there is. You know, you will grow as a driver with the car over the months of owning it, and you'll get great and tuned with that specific car. You'll have an awesome time. That's really like the coolest way to learn. It really is. So if uh, you don't know how to drive a manual, you want to buy a manual car and you're hesitating, don't. Just go out there and do it because the only way to get good is to try it, and you'll have an awesome time. You really will. Um, and another quick thing a lot of people ask, well, isn't that bad for the car? Am I going to ruin the clutch? There reality is those things are built to take abuse. You're going to be absolutely fine. You know, as long as you're not launching the thing as hard as you can and ripping through gears, uh, doing hundred miles an hour, they're, they're built to take abuse. And the reality is there's nothing you're going to do to that car that 10 people probably haven't already done uh, before you. So anyway, with all that being said, uh, just go for it. You know, you'll have an awesome time. But anyway, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the driving portion of this video. All right, so just sitting in the car here, I just wanted to cover a couple of little things. Whenever you're at a stop, you want to make sure, like if you're sitting at a red light or something, you want to make sure you're in neutral. This is a very important step for driving a manual. Neutral is when your gear shift is in the middle of the gearbox and you can move it around like this. It, it's a lot of movement there. And uh, so, you know, what you want to do, let's say you're just driving along and you're in fourth gear and you come up to a red light um, and you're about 20 miles an hour, you want to clutch in all the way neutral make sure you're in neutral and then you can just sit there and let the clutch out you know you don't want to be sitting at a red light uh like this just waiting to go in first gear just want to be in neutral and the same goes for i just wanted to go over really quick when your car is just sitting here most likely a manual car it's going to be in gear when it's parked and the reason for that is when your car is in gear just in case for some reason your parking brake would fail just like an automatic goes in a park to hold the transmission putting your car in gear in a manual is the same idea it holds the transmission in place so it's just one more way to make sure the car doesn't go anywhere um, when you're parked. So real quick, when you get in a manual car and you're looking around, you're probably going to notice that. Now, old school e-brake, of course, is the handle that would be up. Mine is electric, so I can't demonstrate it. But uh, just wanted to mention, that's why you put a manual car in gear. And when you're just sitting here and you're getting ready to start it, make sure your parking brake is on. And uh, then you can just go ahead and go to neutral while you're just sitting in the car. But anyway, I just wanted to go over that really quick. Uh, that's why you see a manual car in gear when it's parked somewhere.
All right, so when you're sitting in a manual, you're gonna notice, of course, that you have three pedals. Gas, brake, those are just the same as in an automatic, and then the one on the far left is your clutch. And you're gonna wanna get very familiar with the clutch in your specific car. Everyone is different, so basically, when you wanna start the car, clutch all the way in. When you're shifting gears, clutch all the way in um, you know basically when you're at a red light clutch all the way in put the car in neutral and then let the car out so the clutch is is used for pretty much everything in a manual that's what that's what's going to trip people up the most when you're learning to drive a manual is the clutch but don't get nervous you know the clutch is different in every car like i said the corvette's clutch travel is pretty long so you see i'm pushing down there pretty far um, but some cars are short. Some cars might only be like to here, whereas mine is here. Some cars are really light, so it doesn't take much to push it down. Some cars takes a lot of muscle to push it down. Uh, so every car is different. So just get very familiar with the clutch in your car. And also I wanna mention, when you first press in the clutch here, um, you're gonna notice that right away there isn't much resistance. But as you push farther, now it's pushing back against my leg. So I see it'll spring back really, you know, really quickly. It'll spring back. So that meaty portion of the clutch there where there's a lot of resistance, um, that's going to be where your clutch is engaging and disengaging. So that's gonna, what's going to allow your car to roll forward on its own or simply to stop and disengage the transmission completely. So um, basically that meaty portion of the clutch is, is the tricky part that you have to learn, but it's not hard. Again, you're gonna be absolutely fine, but that's just one thing to, before you even try to drive, just go ahead and get really familiar with your clutch. And also very important in a manual car, make sure you have good shoes and make sure that your uh, seat is adjusted right. You know, you wanna be able to push this clutch all the way down. You want the seating position to feel very natural. Um, the seating position and where the pedals are is a little bit more important in a manual car than in an automatic. I mean, of course, ideally, um, you're, all, you're always going to be adjusted right regardless of whether your car is an auto or a manual, but in a manual, it's very important because you want the clutch travel to feel very natural and you want it to be in the right position. All right, and then also here before we even get driving, the one thing you also want to do, of course, is to get a good feel for your gearbox. And every, again, just like the clutch, every gearbox is different, um, but take a while to get a good feel to it. So while you're just sitting here in a parking lot, make sure, of course, again, your parking brake is on, and then go ahead and press in the clutch, and then just get a feel for it. You know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and in this car, seventh, and then reverses all the way to the right and down. Um, and you know, this little diagram that they give you, it might seem like a silly little thing, but it's actually helpful. That's of course gonna give you basically a map of where your gears are. So you see me, it's first, and then second is down here. You know, so just uh, every time you're gonna change gears in the car, you're gonna go clutch in, just remember that. So the left pedal there, clutch all the way in and then shift gears. So let's imagine here we're pressing in the gas with our right foot and let's just say that we're in third gear and we wanna go to uh, fourth gear. So we're just driving along here in third gear. So I'm gonna push in the clutch and let off the gas, go to fourth, and then let off the clutch and push in the gas at the same time. So uh, basically that's the motion you're gonna be doing and I'll show you that in a second, but before you get driving, just get a very good feel for your gearbox. Again, go through the gears very slowly. So get each one and get a feel for it. You know, some the Corvette, if you notice, the gears are very close. So first is here and then third is here. Like those are very close. Some cars, it's like first over here and then third might be all the way over here. Um, so, you know, every gearbox is different. So just get a really good feel for your specific car because this motion right here, this stuff right here, that's exactly what you're going to be doing out on the road. So if you have a really good feel for the gearbox and where the gates are for shifting, you're going to have a much easier time once you actually get out there and try to drive. All right. So you've had some time to feel out your clutch. You've had some time to learn the gearbox a little bit. So now you're going to get ready to start. And again, just get yourself into a flat parking lot. Like you see out here, I'm making the video. I'm just in a parking lot by myself. And this is another reason why I'm a big advocate for, you know, when you want to learn how to drive manual, uh, just get a car yourself because then you can come out here anytime you want. You know, you don't have to be nervous about someone sitting in the passenger seat. Um, so, you know, just get out here and practice. But anyway, now we are going to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start to drive. So I'm going to go through the procedure of how to start. So if your car is just sitting here, of course, um, you're, you're in gear and your parking brake is on. So what I'm going to do here in order to start the car is I'm going to go clutch in, go to neutral. All right. So now the car is just sitting here, parking brake is still on, car's off, but then when we're ready to start the car, you're going to go, make sure that you're in neutral always when you start the car, always make sure of that, because if you start in gear, what will happen is the minute you take your foot off the clutch, your car is going to lurch forward and stall. So we're just sitting here, and to start the car, we're going to go clutch all the way in, you can see the left leg there, and then we're going to start button, 
and you have to hold in the clutch while you're doing that. Okay, and now that the car's on, you can let out the clutch, and we're just sitting here because we're in neutral, so the car's not going to go anywhere because our parking brake is still on. So, uh, when you're ready to drive then, what you're going to do, take your parking brake off, okay, and now you're ready to go. So, you're just sitting here, remember again, you're in neutral, and uh, I'm on a level surface, so it's a, a slight uphill, so my car is not moving but nothing is holding back my car at the moment. And what I also wanna do really quick is just go through reverse here because you can't go into reverse in my car when the car is off. So I just wanted to show you here, reverse is the same thing, cars are uh, all different, but mine is all the way over to the right and push down to go into reverse. Some are all the way to the left and down. Uh, mine is all the way to the right, and I just wanna go through a reverse procedure real quick. So when you're reversing in a manual, and you're letting off the clutch to go backwards, you can see on the screen there, you never want to let off the clutch the whole way in reverse, otherwise this will happen. And you start, you see how fast, I don't know if you can see how well you're on the screen there, but you really get moving in reverse in a manual. <laughs> so when you're in reverse, never let out the clutch the whole way as if you're driving forward. But anyway, um, let me just take a quick break here with the camera and I'll get it reset up so we can actually start driving forward. All right, so here we are, and I'm gonna give you two different views of starting out. So what you wanna do, again, our car's on, we go through the start procedure, and what we're gonna do is clutch in, first gear, and now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna show you from this angle first so you can just see. So my foot is off the brake, and this is why it's good to practice on a flat surface so your car doesn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna lightly let off with my left leg. And if you see here, if I just let off very, very, very slowly, I'm not even pressing in the gas and my car is rolling forward, if you can see there. Um, so get good at doing that. Get good at letting off the clutch ever so slowly. And now that I'm rolling, I'm going to push in with the right foot as I let off slowly with the left. So that's all it is, is just letting off really slowly off the clutch and pushing in very gently with the right. And again, there's a lot of tutorials on how to drive a manual on YouTube. But the one thing that I want to do a little bit differently to try to help people is if you can practice that just, and let me just show you, coming up to a stop here, so I'm going to go clutch in, back to neutral, and then I can break to a stop. Okay, now I'm just sitting here again. So again, the one thing I want to, I want to stress that I think people will find helpful, if you can practice on a level surface, just sitting here, clutch in, first gear, and then just letting off the clutch very, very slowly, and I'll show you what I'm doing with my leg here in a second, and get it rolling without giving it any gas and then start to add a little bit of gas as you get rolling more. So here we are just driving around here in a little circle, but that's really all it is. So once you get the start procedure down and you're in first gear, you're just gonna let out that clutch very, very slowly in order to get the car moving. And I'll show you the leg view here in a second. All right, so just to show you the view of what you're gonna be doing with your feet. So we're sitting here, we're ready to start driving. We're gonna go clutch in first, okay? And then I'll show you the view. All right, so what I'm gonna do is here, I'll get my other leg out of the way. And you see, I'm just lifting off with the left foot ever so slightly. And you can't see it right now, but the car is moving. So now that I'm ready to go, I'm gonna give it a little bit of right foot as well. And then I can let off the clutch all the way. So you see, you're just gonna let off the clutch just enough to get going. And then you're gonna feed into the gas. And if you, if you feel like your car is bogging down or you know lurching or gonna stall just give it more gas you know when in doubt always go more gas just remember that and that's really gonna help you out so again here we're coming to a stop so I'm gonna go clutch in okay and now we're gonna get ready to get going again so I just want to show you real quick uh, let off real light with the left and I'll do it simultaneously this time and as you let off with the left push in with the right and then you're gonna get going and it's that easy and you can see by you know by the feet there moving around that we are moving but I'll just show you up here this view um, and that's all it is you know you're just gonna let off really light with the left and push in with the gas so again I would recommend getting on a flat surface and then just practice letting the car roll forward by just letting off the clutch so we're getting ready to come to a stop here so I'm gonna go clutch in as you can see back to neutral and now I can let off the clutch all right, so again, I just wanted to really uh, demonstrate this here with a different angle so you can see it all at once um, really well here. So let's just imagine we're starting off, so I'm going to go clutch in first and then let off with the left, push in with the right like so. Now we're driving along, 
And by the way, never rest your uh, foot on the clutch pedal because that's going to wear out. It just wears out the clutch. Um, even if you're not putting hardly any pressure on it, it can wear it out. So always just rest your foot over there on the dead pedal. But anyway, so we're driving along here in first. Now we want to go to second. So again, I'm going to let off, push in with the left, go to second, and then out and push in with the gas. And then we're gonna keep driving along here. Sorry, I try to keep the camera angle as good as possible. And now we wanna to go to third. So we're gonna push in with the clutch, let off with the gas, third, and then let off with the clutch and push in with the gas. So you see, it's little movements there, but that's exactly the same. Those are the motions that you're gonna be doing when you're driving. And again, maybe if you're just parked here, if you just wanna practice doing that, because those are the same things you're gonna be doing when you're out on the road, which I will demonstrate here in a second. All right, so sorry the camera angle isn't very good. I did, I took the roof off to try to get as much light in here as possible. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna just demonstrate what you do here to actually get going and shift. So we're at a stop, and again, make sure anytime you're at a stop, you're in neutral. So now we're ready to go. No car's coming, we're gonna go clutch in. You can see with the left, first gear, and then just like we showed earlier, just let off the clutch really easy and head in with the gas. And now we're moving, that easy. All right, so now back here, I'm gonna go to second gear. So we're gonna go clutch in, second, and then let off with the clutch really easy and in with the gas, so just like that. And now let's get a little speed here, and we'll go to third gear. So just clutch in, third, and then same thing. All right, so just to finish up here, I wanted to demonstrate what you wanna do when you're coming to a stop. So let's imagine that you're cruising along in fifth gear and you're doing about 40 miles an hour. So what you wanna do is you don't just wanna to go to neutral and then break to a stop from too high. What I usually do is I slow down to about 20 miles an hour in gear and then I'll go to neutral and then I'll come to, I'll break to a stop. So let's, again, let's just imagine we're in fifth gear doing about 35 to 40 miles an hour and you you're see a red light up in the distance. So what you're gonna do is just crew just let it coast in fifth for a while and then when your revs get real low go to fourth and then let your revs get real low and then when you're at about and you know it might be a different gear for you it might be third or second gear or whatever um but then get down to about 20 miles an hour in gear and then uh, as you're getting ready to stop just go to neutral and then break to a stop so again what i like to do is usually break from about 20 miles an hour again you don't want to go um from a higher speed to neutral just because then you don't have as much control over your car uh you know in case you have to swerve or, or do something where if you're in neutral you can't do it very fast so uh, always better to just be safe and break um, and, and let get it down to about 20 miles an hour in gear and then break to a stop and you should be okay and again just the, the kind of procedure here so let me just go and turn on the car all right so we're just imagining here that we just drove around and then we're, we're pulling up to a parking spot here um, so what you want to do and I'll disengage the parking brake so what you want to do again as you come to a stop so let's just imagine we're in first gear and we're up, we're in a parking space and we're ready to stop so we're gonna clutch in neutral and now we're here in our parking space so we're on the brake and then what you want to do is engage your parking brake that's on now you're gonna turn the car off and then again, like we talked about at the beginning, just put your car, push in the clutch, and then put your car in any gear. Now, uh, again, just make sure your car is off when you go in gear. You can do this if the car, let's say the car is still on, you can put it in gear, put it, uh, um, put the clutch in, put it in gear, and then turn the car off. But it's better to just do it with the car off to make sure that you don't stall. So um, that's pretty much the procedure. So again, you pull up to the parking space, you're gonna go um, clutch in, neutral, and then you're gonna put your foot on the brake, engage your parking brake, turn off your car, and then go into gear, and then just go ahead and get out of the car. So that's about it. All right, guys, so just closing out the video today, I focused a lot on what I think is one of the hardest parts of getting started driving a manual, which is just getting the car going. That's when uh, most people stall and have all these problems. Once the car is moving, it's pretty easy to keep it going. And of course, your gear shifts are gonna be a little bit clunky and stuff at first, but don't get discouraged. Um, you're gonna be fine. And remember, when in doubt, just give it a little bit more gas and let off the clutch a little bit more slowly. That's when you get those real clunky gear shifts is if you're letting out the clutch too fast or not giving it enough gas or a combination of both. And one other thing, like I mentioned earlier for just a second, there's a ton of reviews, uh, not reviews, how to's on YouTube of how to drive a manual. But if I could make mine different, the one uh, thing that I would tell people to really practice and get good at is get yourself in a flat parking lot and just practice letting off the clutch just enough to get your car rolling and master that, that clutch movement, just that 
that little space and if you can do that you're gonna find that you can it's gonna be so much easier for you because then all all it is is adding gas then and that again the clutch work is what trips people up the most so anyway you know I hope everyone enjoyed I hope everyone found this to be helpful and I might make a part two at some point you know I just again I covered the basics and just getting going but there's a ton of other stuff to learn um, but in the interest of keeping the video at least somewhat short and watchable I tried to keep it pretty pretty small but anyway uh, as always thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you enjoyed I hope if you don't know how to drive a manual you found this to be helpful uh, feel free to leave any comments of how I could improve the video make it better or some other uh, things that I should show for maybe some advanced techniques but anyway just again thank you guys so much for watching always appreciate it if you're stopping in for the first time please subscribe and take care have a great day